Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end times. This past week, on Thursday morning, at his regular daily Mass, Pope Francis gave a very strange sermon, and he tried to reconcile good and evil, and that cannot be done. Although it is a typical Masonic ploy, maybe Pope Francis is a Mason and not a Jesuit. Well, anyway, here is what he said, and I got this directly from Vatican Radio, so this is not someone's opinion, and the date line is Thursday, June 9th at 2016, this year. Pope Francis warned on Thursday against an excessive rigidity. Now, I've never heard any of the Ten Commandments against excessive rigidity saying those within the church who tell us it's this or nothing are heretics and not Catholics. Well, what a lot of baloney that is. Heresy is preaching something that is not in the gospel. There's nothing in the gospel about excessive rigidity. His remarks came during the morning mass on Thursday, celebrated at the Santa Marta residence. So, Pope Francis, I challenge you to find somewhere in the gospel where teaching against excessive rigidity, that somehow that is a heresy. In his homily, the Pope reflected on the harm caused by churchmen who do the opposite of what they preach. Well, I agree with you on that, Pope Francis. That would be hypocrisy. No one likes hypocrisy. But the Pope always throws in some truth in order to squeeze in a lie and urge them to free themselves from a rigid idealism. Uh-oh, rigid idealism? Jesus expressed rigid idealism. He says if you look at a woman with lust in your heart, you've already committed adultery with her. That's not the same as what the scribes and Pharisees were doing. That prevents reconciliation between each other. Now, I don't see anything in the Bible that says thou shalt not commit rigid idealism. Taking his cue from Jesus' warning to his disciples that unless their righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, they will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Well, of course, that's true. But where is righteousness the same as opposing rigid idealism? I don't see that part. Pope Francis stressed the importance of Christian realism. Uh-oh. Now Pope Francis is saying that realism is greater than idealism. That is not scriptural either. Jesus, he said, asked us to go beyond the law and love God and neighbor. Well, where is it that the law is against loving your neighbor? Jesus said that is the law. That's one of the most important parts of the law. Thou shalt love the Lord your God and your neighbor as yourself. All the commandments are based on that law, Jesus said. I don't know, Pope Francis, have you read the Bible? Stressing that whoever is angry with their brother will be liable to judgment. Well, that's absolutely true, Pope Francis. You say one truth in order to squeeze in a lie, as I said before. In addition, these people had seen the rigidity of those scribes and Pharisees. And when a prophet came to give them a bit of joy, prophets don't give bits of joy, Pope Francis. Where did you read that nonsense? They, the scribes and Pharisees, persecuted them and even murdered them. There was no place for prophets there. And Jesus said to them, to the Pharisees, You have killed the prophets. You have persecuted the prophets, those who were bringing fresh air. Pope Francis, the prophets never bring fresh air or a bit of joy, as you say. I can tell you what the message of a prophet is. And it's the same as it has always been. It's a very simple sentence. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Well, let me ask you, Pope Francis, let's say, for example, John the Baptist. Did he accuse Herod of idealism, of rigidity? I don't think so. He accused him of adultery. He wasn't trying to bring him a bit of joy or some kind of pleasantness. He was telling him the hard facts of life 
That's why he was beheaded. The same way with St. Thomas More. What did St. Thomas More tell Henry VIII that caused him to lose his head? He told Henry VIII the same thing, that he was committing adultery. He didn't try to bring him some fresh air or a bit of joy. That is a lie, Pope Francis. You are perverting the gospel. You tell a little truth to get in your lie. You are the false prophet. That's why you don't tell the truth about prophets. You bring a false prophecy to your church. But the good news is, according to scripture, you, Wormwood, are only going to lead one-third of the people astray. So there is some good news along with the bad news today. And as always, if you would like to know more information about my ministry here on YouTube, visit my thirdeaglemedia.com website.